Hey YouTube, what's going on? Happy Friday. It's been a couple weeks, I think, since I did my last video. In fact, I don't remember exactly when I put a video up. But I was on vacation last week and just getting back into the swing of things this week, trying to get myself um, back in line with everything that's going on here at work. But I wanted to give an update on where I am with my Topps Chrome Purple set, show off a few cards that I picked up this week, um, and give you guys an idea of where I am on other things with the set. So this week I pulled in a few cards here uh, from purchases on eBay and Blowout, uh, all purple, Crawford, Hosmer, Berrios, Candelario, Swanson, Boyd, and a nice Blake Snell. Uh, so these are going to go into my pile here. This is where I'm at with um, the Topps Chrome Purple set today. Uh, I just looked and updated my numbers. I'm 95 cards into the set, so 95 out of 200. This is not 95 cards. Uh, there's a there's a whole lot of cards or a bunch of cards that I have not gotten in yet from people either on eBay or on Blowout. What's interesting this year for me is that I have not opened a single box, or I'm sorry, a single hobby box or jumbo box of Chrome. I did open up some retail, but I don't really consider retail... Uh, that important to me because you don't see a lot of color out of retail and so in fact you don't see a lot of color out of this product uh, at all I've watched I've been a part of several group breaks on blowout and I've seen a lot of box breaks on on YouTube and I don't see a lot of color as I usually have seen in the past I probably would say it's about maybe 25 or 30 percent less than what it's been in the past so a little disappointed this year in tops chrome from that perspective, but I do like the cards a lot. So I just wanted to flip through some of these, show you what is in my possession at this point. I don't have any of the big boys yet. I think the, well, actually, I do have, there's a nice Miggy. Uh, I do have Kyle Lewis. Here's an Arenado. I was able to snag the Kyle Lewis on a, from a guy on Blowout. Uh, but all these cards are just crazy prices, have just crazy um, popularity at this point. All these colored cards, the rookie cards, it's just out, out of control, as we all know. We've heard many people talk about it. Here's nice Juan Soto. Dylan Cease, rookie. Yelich. Nick Solak. Don't sleep on that dude. I watched him hit against our Padres, and he looks pretty decent. Uh, let's see, there's a Devers in there. There's a nice DeGrom. There's the Kyle Lewis. He's probably going to end up being the cheaper of the rookie cards I got to I gotta purchase. I don't have Trout yet. Here's a nice Acuna. I don't even have my Tatis. I've tried a bid on a few Tatis over the last couple of weeks, but have been unsuccessful. And uh, there's a nice Judge. There's Aquino. Machado had a hell of a series against the Mariners. Too bad we lost two out of three. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at with purples at this point. We've got a great stack going here. Pretty excited about that. I wanted to mention the group breaks that I've been in uh, over the last couple weeks. There's always a couple blowout group breaks that I get into, and uh, usually they're random teams or random players or draft or, or all those types of group breaks. And I uh, wanted to show you what I was able to get out of the rookies. I did pull one of these Roberts in retail. I did get another Robert in one of the group breaks. I had a White Sox spot, and this was all I got out of it, which was in a hobby case. But the way the, 
the break was you only got one team per box. So I had one box of a hobby box uh, or a hobby case that was the White Sox, and that's all I got out of it. I had the Blue Jays one box, and this is all I got out of that. A Bichette rookie card prism. Pretty cool card. I'm thinking about sending this one in for grading and probably one of these two. I haven't decided yet whether it's worth sending Robert in for grading or not, but I thought that it'd be worth maybe just one to see if I can I can flip it for some some dough to pay for the purple that I need to get. And then I got a bunch of other things, starting with this really cool uh, Ted Williams bat relic. I forget what year this is as far as the, the card design. I'm, I'm almost positive it's a 50s design. It's maybe like 56, potentially. Um, but really awesome card. I'm, again, thinking about sending this in for grading. It's not numbered, unfortunately, but I think there's a lot of Red Sox fans out there and Ted Williams fans that would like to have it, and I think it has a shot at a gem mint. And so why not try to get that one? Uh, I did get the photo variation of Jacob deGrom. It's funny, I've gotten his photo variation, I think this is the third one I've gotten of him. In all the years that he's had one, I've gotten three of them. I don't think I have one anymore. I think I sold it. I think I still have another one. And then just a bunch of colors out of those group breaks. Tyro Glass now green. Edmund negative. Gallo blue. Scherzer blue. This is a Flaherty purple, which is a duplicate. Green uh, Gold wave of Trevor Williams. Nice gold weight of Kettle Marte, who I don't think he's having a great year this year so far, but that's a really nice card of his. And then a green Kyle Seeger. I did just join another group break yesterday. It was a player random. I had one spot for 39 bucks. There were 269 spots in it, and I had one spot, and I was able to get Trent Grisham as my player so uh, i was excited i'll show you what i got in that group break once it comes in it'll probably be about a week or so before i get that so i hope everybody's doing well and uh that's about it for now again if you guys uh, are in possession of any of these purples let me know would love to get my hands on the ones that i need anything high low end high end low end doesn't matter Stay well, click that thumbs up if you like the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.